Hello, people of the world. I am Necro. And I'm doing another video. This one is uh, called Babylon Burns. Beauty is the Beast. And uh, it's the story of the world, really. It's the story of the beginning of civilization when man started uh, commercing and uh, um, making markets and, uh, you know, and it's uh, pretty been going on for like at least 10,000 years. And uh, basically it's evolved through a time to this technological um, wizardry. You know, it's got us uh, mesmerized. It's got us um, locked into it. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, that's why I called it Babylon Burns, Beauty is a Beast, because, you know, the next, we're looking, already looking for the next, uh, the next gadget to play around with until that one loses its flavor and we move on to another and another. They keep us trapped in a, a loop, a cycle, and we perpetuate it, and even, like, Christians are perpetuating it. Uh, you know, we keep it in motion, people. We keep this uh, machine going. And uh, it's not going anywhere good. It's hurting people, for one thing. And uh, it's just got to stop. I mean, you know, beauty is the beast. You know, most people, they're... They got us on some some level or another. They got us into something. Like, I got smoking cigarettes, so I got that loop going on. You know, I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be, and I don't think I ever will be perfect. Um, but I try. And, uh, you, know, they, you know, some people, uh, life is, uh, is, is Las Vegas, you know plugging money into machines and and uh, just wasting your time, wasting your money, your paper dollar bills, your 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 government inked plastic paper bills, whatever. And you know, it's just perpetuating this lie over and over and over again. You know? And Babylon is burning. She's burning real hot. She's she's waiting for something and uh, you know that something is going to be the most beautiful thing on the planet I mean we're going to see angels we're going to see angels on earth and these aren't God's angels they're not under God they're not under Jehovah or Jesus Christ they're under uh, Satan and uh they're beautiful. They're going to be gorgeous. They're going to be. Uh, they're going to be quite the lookers. I'm going to. I'm going to explain them to you in, in a few minutes. Uh, what's going to happen soon on this planet? Because it it uh, follows too much nonsense and not enough uh, righteous stuff to even have a foundation. This world has no foundation. It has no foundation. It, its foundation is Hollywood. It's illusion. It's uh, it, it, it goes nowhere. It leads to destruction and death and suffering and pain. So, I mean, you, you people out there, you keep it going around and around. You know, you got people and supposed Christians, they're just making it, making people want with their talk going against one it more they're making a, making Babylon burn for more Babylon so it's it's pretty sad because uh, you know in the Bible there's a there's a chapter called Joel the first uh, uh, the first book the first chapter of Joel explains the devil's army 
if you want to check it out, look in the Bible under Joel. Joel. And the very first chapter explains exactly what the army of the devil is going to be like. Actually, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to read this to you to understand. I'm going to explain what I think of it and what I'm getting out of it. Is this is the army of the devil. Hear this, O ye old men, and give ear all ye inhabitants of the land. Hath this been in your days, or even in the days of your fathers? Tell ye your children of it, and let your children tell ye their children, and their children another generation, that which the palmer worm hath left, the locust eaten, and that which the locust hath left, hath the canker worm eaten, and that which the canker worm hath left, hath the caterpillar eaten. I'm going to say that one more time. And I hope you get this. This is the devil's army. Tell ye children of it, and let your children tell their children, and their children, and another generation, that which the palmer worm hath left, hath the locust eaten, and that which the locust hath eaten, hath, hath left, hath the canker worm eaten, and that which the canker worm hath left, hath the caterpillar eaten. So what, what does that say? What does that say about the devil's army? I'm going to put this down below in my comment section, this part of the Bible, and I'll tell you what it's about. That which the palmer worm hath left, hath the locust eaten. So the palmer worm, the palmer worm, it, I like this better in, in Hebrew because it's more of a, like a, a, a poem, and a well-flowing uh, poem. But the palmer worm is like a pretend Christian who hypes up stuff to make money and to... Uh, pacify people to give a false idea of something or and it, you know or people that uh, just waste your time they're there just to suck your energy up they don't care nothing about you they just want your energy these are the palmer worms of the devil these are the palmer worms and the locust I'm gonna I'm gonna read you what the locusts are so the palmer worm is the businessman, the, the one making money off of ignorance and wasting time. And, uh, you know, and I'm going to tell you what the locust is. So the palmer worm and the canker worm and the caterpillar are like businessmen. They, uh, or they're just like losers on the streets who are atheistic and they just they just use all your energy get you angry get you mad get you pissed off get you doubting your your faith that's what these uh, um, palmer worm canker worm and the caterpillar are so those are this is the first stage of the locust army of the devil this is the first stage and there are those canker worms and palmer worms and caterpillars, and they can be male or female on the earth as well. Just they're just possessed by these spirits that come along and try to eat away at your faith and leave you like like, like a canker worm does. It leaves nothing left. It it uh, eats it bare, just like you if you let them. If you let them eat your energy, you know, 
waste your time. You gotta learn how to to see these people for what they're doing to you and get them out of your, your circle because they're energy vampires. And this these are the palmer worm, the canker worm, and the caterpillar. And I'm gonna show you another book in the Bible called Revelations 9. This is the locust army. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. And unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men or women which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but to, that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion. And when he striketh a man, and in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle. On their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their furnaces were as the, as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates as it were, breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions. And there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon. But in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Wow stuff, eh, folks? Wow stuff. And this stuff is right there in front of your eyes. You just, you just don't, you're, you're, you're asleep. Your spirit is asleep if you don't see this happening. Because his name is going to be Abaddon, and in Greek, Apollyon. There's another guy in history uh, with that certain name. His name is Apo N Napoleon Bonaparte. And anyways, one woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared, prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand. And I heard the number of them, and thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and jet jacinth, and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as heads of lions. And out of their mouths issued fire, and smoke, and brimstone. By three was the third part of men killed by the fire, by the smoke, and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths. For their power is in their mouth, and in their tails. For their tails were like unto serpents, and had heads. And with them they do hurt, and the rest of the men, which were not killed, and women, so remember in the Bible, just because it says man, doesn't mean it just means man. Sometimes it does, but sometimes it means man and woman. There's no word for unisex, uh, both sexes. They're, so you got to put women in there as well. You know what I mean? And uh, it's a pretty amazing. And by the place you ever... And it says, And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which ne neither see nor hear nor walk, neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. 
See, this is for the wicked, folks. This is for people that are wicked out there that are doing some pretty stupid stuff. And you know what? God's got an army. He says he controls that army. He controls the devil's army as, as well as his own. So, if you want to play with things, folks, you're looking for real big trouble, tumultuous pro problems. And uh, God is real. God loves his children, and he'll do anything for them. Those that love him and actually have no lies in their mouth. And, uh, you know, they don't speak lies. Because they're the, the sons of the, of the great God that created everything. It says there's at least 144,000 who are like Jesus on this planet. 144,000. 12,000 of every tribe in the Bible. I could mention them, but that would take some time. But you can figure it out. And I mean, this locust army is there. You can see it. You can see the locust army. It's on the earth. It's here. It says they have long hair and uh, teeth of lions. Meaning, they're going to look nice, but deep within, they're going to rip your soul apart. They'll tear you apart. Your soul. They'll strip your, your faith. They'll use you. Like it says, they have tails. And these tails they sting with are not just not real tails. They're spiritual. I'll give you an example. An example is a demon is like a scorpion or a black widow. They don't have stomachs. So basically when they, they sting their, their victim or their mate... When they sting them, their 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 prey becomes their stomach, and then it eats itself from within and until there's nothing. So it becomes momentarily their stomach. So that's like a demon. It'll attach you to you, and then it'll suck you dry of everything, and it'll put in all of its garbage, its its, its digestive juices. So if you want to deal with demonic forces, folks, you're 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 pretty uh, pretty dumb. You're pretty dumb to play with that stuff because you know what? You're you're not going to be in your body. It's going to be some demonic being, and they're friggin' insane. Just come to your senses, people. Don't follow things that look pretty and yeah, nice complicated idea. I'm so prestigious, you know, it's like, you know, Hollywood, the Hollywood dream is actually a nightmare. It, it is, it's, it looks good, but it's a nightmare. And you know, you don't want to get those locusts stinging you. Because they'll, they'll clean you dry and they'll leave you nothing. They'll, they'll tell you all the things you want to hear. Because they know it. They're, they're angels. They've created these bodies. Some of those beings. Some of those beings created these flesh bodies. And they're fallen. So they know they're going down. They've been sentenced to death by God himself. And they know they're going down. But they're going to look as pretty as they can be. So they can maybe take you down with them. So don't follow that. They, don't be Bob Babylon burning. Don't burn. If you're burning, it means you have no Holy Spirit. If you're burning for love, then you have no love. You're looking for it. And God says He can do it just by asking the Holy Spirit into your heart. And you will have love. Love like no man or woman can do for you. You know... We are a family. We are a family out here. And we got to look out for each other. Take care of each other instead of chasing Babylon. Chasing the next gadget. Chasing some people, you know. Hollywood is their reality. That's all they see. They don't see reality. They see Hollywood. And that's pretty sad, folks. That's pretty pathetic. If you think reality is Hollywood, because it looks like people just, you know, tied to the TV, tied to their their smartphones, and uh, 
you know, just just in oblivion and loving it and paying for it. So come on, people. Babylon burns and beauty is the beast. Look at all the girls out there killing themselves trying to be pretty. Beauty is the beast. It's it's a false illusion that could kill you, hurt you, lead you astray. You gotta use your mind. You really gotta use that. And you gotta use your heart. You gotta connect the two, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If you don't have the Father in your mind, the creator of all living beings and everything, and Jesus in your heart, you're misguided. You're lost. We've got to come together as a family. I don't see a lot of Christians out there getting together and like uh, supporting one another. I don't see anything like that. I see a lot of people with their with with their power in their hands, thinking how great they are, or how great their video is, or or how great their intellect is, or whatever. We got to come together as a one family, and we got to tackle this beast. We got to give it a deadly wound. Together as one entity. And the Holy Spirit is love. So, I don't know. Maybe you think I'm, I'm, a, I'm not a Christian because I wear leather. I like wearing leather. I've worn it ever since I was a little kid. And I think God raised me up this way. To show you that God doesn't like whitewash Christianity as well. You trying to be holy when you're just a Joe come on man be real God gave us a personality for a reason he didn't come to to brainwash us into one way of thinking no and everybody they think they know what God thinks you don't know what God thinks nobody knows what God thinks nobody knows what true holiness is just because I swear just because I, I get angry, I'm human. I'm a I'm I'm an adult. I'm not no longer a child. So I can handle it, and you can handle it. And if you you you're you're not connecting with me because you don't think I'm a Christian and I'm I, I'm I'm a false prophet or whatever, because I swear because you know that's just trying to be Mr. White. Mr. Clean. And you know what? It says in the Bible all the whitewash is going to add up to zero, zero, zero. So try, stop trying to whitewash yourselves, people. I see it all over these Christians. They're like, you got to think like me or you're going to hell. How, do you, how does any one of us know what God actually thinks? There's not one person on the planet that knows. And the only planet and the being that knows is, is God himself. So let's not start thinking for God. Let's start thinking, what does God think, really? What does God think, you know? Not what we think of the Bible, but what does God think of the Bible? A lot of people have ideas, a lot of religions have ideas, but it's whitewash. It's total whitewash. And if you want whitewash, it's going to add up to zero. You know? But if you want to follow that way, go for it. I'm going to do it the way God raised me up to be. And uh, I'm going to leave you with uh, one more um, scripture. This is going to be the end of the video. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh. For it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, 
a great people and a strong. There hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of the mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness, and they shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march every one on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path, and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded, because they are mortal. They're, they're uh, angels, fallen angels. And, uh, you know, and, and they won't be wounded by the sword because the sword is flesh. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars will withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong that ex ex executeth his word. For the Lord of the for the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? Therefore also now saith the Lord, Turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart and not your garments. And turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent, and leave a blessing behind him, even a meeting, meat offering, and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a feast, call a solemn assembly. Gather the people, sac san there we go people, gather the people. Gather the family together, but nobody's doing that. They're chasing the devil's tail. They're chasing his, uh, his fake beauty, his, uh, his fake fake bow of, uh, uh, of God, his fake Shekinah glory. It's going to be a fake Shekinah glory, though. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breasts. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests and the ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar. And let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give, sh give not thine heritage to reproach that the heathen, heathen should rule over them. Where, wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? I'll tell you where God is. He's right here. He's always there. His Holy Spirit is always within us, whether we acknowledge it or not. You know, and people, you're so pacified with this Hollywood charade. And uh, people, you know, it's like, it, it's not one thing or another. It's either crack cocaine, uh, crystal meth, uh, Hollywood, or, or um, you know, doing the slots, or doing gambling, or doing the bottle, or shooting up, or who knows, whatever. It's all illusions. They sold you illusions and you bought it. And now you're going to suffer because of it. And you know what? I have no pity for you that ask that upon yourselves. You could have went to the Lord anytime and you still can. God's arms are still wide open for you. And uh, you should get help.
before it gets to be a point where it's going to eat away your insides, your bone marrow, and your bones, and your muscles, and your brain, and your heart. Come to the Lord, people. Come to God Almighty. He is love. Don't listen to men and women. If they want to go to hell, let them go to hell. You you got you got a better place to go to. Don't fall for this uh, beauty is the beast because I tell you it's going to be beautiful. Like this 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 leader, Satan, Lucifer, he's going to pay your bills. He's going to make heaven on earth. He's going to like. He, he's gonna. It's gonna be amazing to see him transform this world into a, a momentary paradise. And for those who haven't re read the Bible, studied the Bible, you're gonna fall for it. And that's really sad to see. Even Christians today, following the devil's tale with their videos, they're just like they just can't wait to see the devil. You know, but uh, they don't know what Jesus is doing. But anyways, uh, shabble down the damn damn ding dongs way too long. I hope we all just come together in true love and make the world a par a true paradise, an eternal paradise. Don't fall for this Hollywood glamour crap. It's it's a puff of smoke. And uh, it's going to be over. That's it. And if you fall for it, you're a puff of smoke. Nobody's going to remember you. And that's so it should be. God bless all. We're all blessed if we acknowledge it. It doesn't matter if you're gay. It doesn't matter if you're lesbian. It doesn't matter. What matters is the condition of your heart towards God and if you love God you'll do what he wants you to do he made you for a reason he's got a purpose for you so don't miss it don't get sidetracked by the beauty of this world and all of its gadgetry don't get don't get pacified by that come on people you're smarter than this we gotta be a family who cares how we believe the Bible just get together you know, unless you, we want to get courted off to, to a prison we gotta to stand together in the gap and uh, make some changes you know love wants to live but if you kill it all the time you're gonna have no love come to the Lord Come to the Lord Jesus, renounce your way, and ask him why he put you here. Amen.